Hey guys, this is Minecraft Romania, and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you. Um, we're actually coming back to the the store, the piston activated redstone doors, and I'm going to be showing you a little feature you can add to the doors to make it awesome. And what it is is a lock. You can add a lock to the doors, so that way, that way, even if you step on them then no one can come in. So you can see both sides, both pistons, or I mean po both pressure plates won't open it. And the reason this is, is because we have a lever here that is on, and if we turn this lever off, we will be able to go through the door like so. Now this is this is um, pretty useful in, um, in a server if you are going through here, getting chased by something, and you want pretty cool looking door still, but you don't want people coming in because the problem was th uh, things could still get in and chase you. So when, once you're in, you just flip the switch and they can't come in unless they mine inside, but you know, unless it's in adventure mode, but okay. We're going to look at how you're going to make this. So to make this, if you guys want to check out, check out the video, I'll put a link to the video on how to make these kinds of doors. And then I am going to go ahead and make another one, and then I'm going to show you how to install the lock. So what's what's first? Uh, make another one of these doors. Never mind. Um, we'll we'll go ahead and just make it here and now. So as you remember, you go two wide and three long, and you go two deep. Then you come to the middle of the three wide, and you go over two, like wide two. <coughs> Excuse me, and deep, and two deep, and then you go over one and one deep. Then you do the same thing to the other side, like so. Then you want to fill the floor with redstone, like so. But for this to be for the lock, we're going to do this instead. Instead of having redstone here, we're going to replace the redstone with a, with a, a repeater. So, on both sides. Then you want to add a redstone torch here, and here. Then you want you want to add another block, and then a redstone on top of that. And do the same thing over here. Then, you just put in two sticky pistons. Now, just for the heck of it, if you guys want the doors to actually be the pistons, you can do this instead. Again, just um, two deep and two wide and three long. And instead of going two over, you got one over. And you add the redstone. And you add the torch. And the stuff, just the regular stuff. Instead, you can just have a let's get a regular piston here. Oops, and oh boy. Okay, so you can just have a regular piston and just have. Oops, we need to add thing on here. And hold on, can get a good angle. And there, so we have this instead. And then okay, so. After you've added that, you want pressure plates to open it up and stuff. But okay, over here, now what you're going to do, depending on, it doesn't really matter where you go, but what's ju what, let's just say that we're outside and we want to lock it up <coughs> from, from the outside and you're inside the building. So we're going to go here because this, this is outside and this is inside, just imagining it. We're going to go down two and uh, long two, too long here. We're going to um, put a never repeater on right next to the repeater. And what we're going to do is have it so it locks. And you know, when you activate this, it will lock that. So then you're going to add a redstone here, a redstone here. And you're going to go uh, one more behind that redstone. And then you're going to break. Um, and make a trail, just make a regular redstone trail connecting the two and then 
it doesn't really really matter where you put the lever, le or the lever or whatever you use as the source to lock it. But um, I just put it right here. That's that's what I do. So you want to get a leather or a leather lever, and activating it will lock this repeater. So even if you do have pressure plates, it's not going to open because it's uh, not canceling the torch that turns this off, and because this is locked. So so if you unlock it, that turn that turns the lock off then the, the torches can unlock or can be turned off and it will pull open. Um, another thing you can do is you can lock it on in the on state. So that means the lock is locking it on the on state like that. And so to reset that you just flip it off, flip it off like that. So let's, um, let's say you already have one of these and, and you don't want to rebuild another one, you just want to put it in there, just get it ready, it's like something like this. So just um, know where the repeater is going to be going, it's um, going to be going here, I believe, and I don't know if I can, let's see if I can, yeah, okay, so you're going to put a repeater here, eh. I don't know, I don't know if I can, there we go, one here, and you're going to go I believe it was. And put another one here. Oops. How can I do this? No. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Then another one here. And then the redstone. You connect the redstone. Just like so. And Repair the damage. Place where you want your your uh, lever to be, and no one is able to get you. So we can, and I will, I'll show this from the other side. You lock it. You're like, oh, no, I'm chasing someone. Okay, it's just some doors. Oh no, what happened? They they locked it. Oh no. So and then again, you can lock it on the on. <coughs> on state like so all right so thanks for watching guys if you like this uh, leave a like um, subscribe to my channel and I'll be making more of these kind of things um, you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and thanks for watching